Welcome, my name is Diana Waring and I'd like to introduce you to America, one of the Experience History Through Music series, which also includes Westward Ho and Musical Memories of Laura Ingalls Wilder. In this book and music CD, the stories of our country come to life through the folk songs of the time, the songs people sang about their lives, their work, even their play. And here to tell you one of those stories is uh, Diana. Thank you. Did you know that in the early years of America's history as a nation, the term out west to a New Yorker meant the other side of the Allegheny Mountains? Or that the Northwest was what is known today as Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, and Illinois? Isn't that amazing? You see, in those days, it was very difficult and very expensive to travel, so most people stayed put. But in 1810, a New York politician, DeWitt Clinton, took upon himself the task of seeing an artificial waterway, a canal, built in his state, one that would link the Hudson River, which empties into the Atlantic Ocean, to Lake Erie, one of the great lakes in the interior of North America. This would require building a canal 363 miles long, all by hand. His political opponents were not impressed. In fact, they called his dream Clinton's ditch. Have you ever heard the saying, whoever laughs last, laughs best? I think that might apply here. You see, in 1827, the Erie Canal opened for business, running from Albany on the Hudson River to Buffalo on Lake Erie. It became hugely successful because the cost of transporting goods dropped from $100 per ton by road to $10 per ton by canal. That was good for business. It was good for people too, because they could also travel on the Erie Canal at the cost of four cents per mile, including meals and a place to sleep. And that made it cheaper and easier to move out west. It was not fast, however, because the canal boats were powered by mules and horses harnessed to a boat and walking along the towpath. They would travel at about four miles per hour. Lots of time for getting to know your neighbors and watching the scenery go by, including all of those really low-built bridges across the canal. Which reminds me, if you're going to travel on the Erie Canal in 1827, you need to remember one thing. When you hear someone call out, low bridge ahead, react fast. You need to duck down until the bridge is passed. If you don't, you're gonna wish you had. In fact, why don't you practice as you hear it in this song? I've got a mule, her name is Sal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal. We've hauled some barges in our day. Buffalo, low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge, cause we're coming to a town. And you'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal if you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal. That's just one of 16 songs on America. And we've not only included the stories, historic photos and images, and music CD, but for all of you budding musicians, we also have simple sheet music, including guitar chords. Learning history has never been this fun. Check it out at dianawaring.com.